In the high-stakes arms race of the Cold War, the United States pursued one of the most audacious aviation projects in history, a nuclear bomber so fast and so high-flying that no enemy could intercept it. This dream took shape as the North American XB-70 Valkyrie, a six-engine, delta-winged behemoth capable of cruising at Mach 3 at 70,000 feet. Designed to outrun Soviet missiles and fighters, the Valkyrie represented the pinnacle of 1960s aerospace engineering. Yet, despite its groundbreaking potential, it never entered service, becoming one of aviation's most fascinating what-if stories. This video explores the history, technology, triumphs, and ultimate downfall of the XB-70 Valkyrie, why it was built, how it pushed the limits of speed and material science and the political and technological shifts that led to its cancellation. By the late 1950s, the U.S. Air Force faced a critical challenge. Soviet air defenses were rapidly improving. The MiG-21 fighter and SA-2 surface-to-air missiles threatened existing bombers like the B-52 Stratofortress, which relied on altitude rather than speed for survival. The solution, a new bomber that could fly faster than any interceptor and higher than any missile. In 1957, the Air Force issued a request for a nuclear-armed strategic bomber, NSB, capable of Mach 3 performance leading to the birth of the B-70 program. North American Aviation, NAA, famous for the P-51 Mustang and F-86 Sabre, won the contract with a design that looked like something from science fiction. The Valkyrie, named after Norse warrior spirits, featured a long, needle-nosed fuselage for aerodynamic efficiency, delta wings with folding wingtips to enhance stability at supersonic speeds, six massive after-burning turbojets for unprecedented thrust. The goal was simple, penetrate Soviet airspace at Mach 3, drop nuclear bombs and escape before enemy defenses could react. One of the Valkyrie's most revolutionary features was its compression lift system. At supersonic speeds, the downward folding wingtips trapped shock waves beneath the aircraft, generating extra lift and improving fuel efficiency, a concept later studied for the Concorde. To reach Mach 3, the XB-70 relied on six General Electric YJ-93 engines, each producing 30,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners. These engines consumed fuel at a staggering rate, 60,000 pounds per hour at full throttle, requiring multiple aerial refuelings for long missions. Flying at Mach 3 subjected the Valkyrie to 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures, forcing engineers to use titanium alloys, then a rare and expensive material, honeycomb composite panels to save weight while maintaining strength, special heat-resistant white paint to reflect thermal energy. These innovations later influenced the SR-71 Blackbird and modern stealth aircraft. The first XB-70 AV-1 took off from Palmdale, California, with test pilots Al White and Joseph Cotton at the controls. Early flights confirmed its stability at high speeds, but also revealed challenges. Extreme heat caused windshield cracks. Engine surges occurred at certain altitudes. The airframe flexed under aerodynamic stress. Despite these issues, the Valkyrie proved it could sustain Mach 3 flight, a feat unmatched by any other bomber. The improved AV-2 prototype first flew in July 1965, featuring enhanced systems and better heat shielding. However, tragedy struck on June 8, 1966, during a publicity photo shoot with other experimental aircraft, an F-104 Starfighter flown by NASA pilot Joe Walker collided with the Valkyrie's wing, sending both planes into a fatal crash. Walker and XB-70 co-pilot Carl Cross died, while pilot Al White barely escaped via ejection seat. The accident was a major blow to the program, leaving only one surviving XB-70. By the mid-1960s, intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs offered a cheaper, faster, and safer way to deliver nuclear strikes. Bombers like the XB-70 suddenly seemed redundant. The USSR's SA-5 Gammon SAM and MiG-25 Foxbat interceptor Mach 2.8 Plus proved that even Mach 3 bombers weren't invincible. 
the Air Force shifted focus to low-altitude penetration, B-1 Lancer, and stealth, eventually the B-2 Spirit. The Valkyrie's $1.5 billion development, over $15 billion today, made it one of the most expensive military projects ever. With no clear mission, Congress canceled the program in 1961, though testing continued until 1969. After the military abandoned the XB-70 Valkyrie program, NASA repurposed the aircraft for groundbreaking supersonic research that would shape the future of aviation. The remaining prototype, AV-1, became a testbed for sonic boom studies, providing essential data for minimizing noise pollution in civilian supersonic flight designs. The Valkyrie also contributed to high-speed aerodynamics research, influencing the development of iconic aircraft like the Concorde and advancing thermal stress analysis critical to the SR-71 Blackbird's success. Its unique Mach 3 capabilities and large size made it ideal for testing concepts that would later benefit supersonic transport and strategic military aviation. The Valkyrie's experimental legacy culminated in its final flight on February 4, 1969, when it was flown to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to become a centerpiece exhibit at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. Though only two prototypes were ever built, the XB-70 remains a symbol of Cold War era ambition and innovation. Its contributions to supersonic research extended far beyond its original role as a bomber, leaving an indelible mark on aerospace science. Today, the Valkyrie stands as a testament to human ingenuity and serves as an inspiration for future advancements in high-speed flight technology. The XB-70 Valkyrie's unrealized potential as a Cold War weapon remains a captivating what-if of aviation history. Had it entered service, its Mach 3 speed and high-altitude capability might have revolutionized strategic bombing, penetrating Soviet airspace for nuclear strikes, conducting reconnaissance with bomber-sized payloads, or launching AGM-69 SRAM missiles from extreme ranges. While never tested in combat, its innovations became foundational for future aerospace projects. Its titanium honeycomb structure and thermal stress research directly informed the SR-71 Blackbird's design. Its variable sweep wing experiments influenced the B-1 Lancer and its supersonic aerodynamics advanced Concorde's development. Today, the Valkyrie symbolizes an era when raw speed reigned supreme before stealth and precision-guided missiles reshaped warfare, leaving this Mach 3 Titan as both a relic of audacious ambition and a bridge to the technologies that followed. Today, the last Valkyrie sits in a museum, a supersonic ghost of the Cold War, reminding us of an era when the sky was the limit and engineers dared to chase the impossible.